Hi guys, welcome to Seven Minute Show. Me, host Sean. I'm sure you're aware that there's been a 97% yes vote for the postman, uh, with 77% turner, which is amazing. When you consider that uh, 10,000 are put in for EVR and they've taken on new owner drivers I just think that is an amazing result don't forget to hit the lovely like button and the sexy subscribe button and don't forget the bell notification you'll be notified when a new video gets uploaded and the free links in the description below you can pick up a free share worth up to 200 pounds and check out our discord and if you want a more in-depth analysis of any stock or market conditions then why not look at our upgraded membership program and support us uh, just some updates i've been fired recently for standing up for colleagues and being they want me to s stop bringing you the truth but I won't also Royal Mail has delivered 10.8 billion in assets to BlackRock from the pension fund and of course what happens if that BlackRock goes down not a BlackRock will but what happens if BlackRock tanks for some reason well pension fund tanks the don't, not sure if you're aware but BlackRock has suddenly put a massive amount of money into Ukraine regeneration scheme which means that we, after the war in Ukraine they are investing in regenerating the country in order to get their assets back it's a risky program because you don't know how long the war is going to go on and at the same time they don't want to use their own money so they'll be using companies like Royal Mail for no this was what was going on before the ballot you know getting managers harassing people trying to find out what way they're going to vote which is they're not meant to and they've they're running scared in my opinion so keep up the good work Keep supporting the postman. Keep supporting anyone who's on strike. And remember, they're standing up for their rights. And for those of you who are unaware, Jeremy Hunt plans planning to tell GPs not to sign people off sick in the budget in order to encourage people back to work. because it's costing the economy too much doesn't care whether people are too sick to work or not but still and there's talk of Sunak bringing in a new law where Tory MPs can actually grab one of their constituents and commandeer their credit card because Keir Starmer has mentioned how the Tory MPs are spending too much on the parliamentary credit cards so he's thinking about banning their credit cards and making it so they can commandeer his new credit cards I don't think it'll make it through the House of Lords don't think it'll make it through the House of Parliaments to get to the House of Lords but that way Sunak can say oh well Labour's voted against abolishing the parliamentary credit cards they want taxpayers to fund it no they just don't want you to spend so much and they don't want 
you to grab hard-working people off the street and nick their money when your own MPs are creating fraud to the extent they'd be jailed for in any other industry. Remember, any anyone who's going on strike at the moment, you guys are real heroes because you've endured freezing temperatures to be on a picket line. You're risking it all just to get fair pay and fair terms and conditions. Good luck to you as all. If you found any of my videos helpful and you want to help me make more, you can support me by buying me a coffee. The link is in the description below.